While comprehensive automated testing can save your team huge amounts of time, money, and effort by catching defects early in the development cycle, when build and test cycles run long, it can feel like some of those benefits are lost. To reduce your build times and accelerate time to market, you can use a technique called test splitting. Test splitting takes advantage of parallelism, or simultaneous processing of job steps across compute nodes, to run your test suite in multiple containers. Instead of executing your tests one after another, test splitting enables you to execute many tests at the same time, drastically shortening your time to completion. With Circle CI, users can split tests by file name, file size, and most importantly, timing data. Time-based test splitting ensures that your parallel test runs will finish at roughly the same time so that you aren't stuck waiting for one batch of tests to finish long after others have completed. To enable test splitting, you first need to specify a parallelism level in your test job, which tells CircleCI how many execution environments to spin up for your tests. Next, you'll include the CircleCI test split command with the split by flag to determine whether the test will be split by file name, size, or timing. You also need to provide a list of tests to split, either through a text file or directory path, or by pattern matching test files with the glob command. To split by timing, you also need to store your test results, which will give CircleCI the timing data needed to split your tests into roughly equal groups. If no timing data is found, or if the split by is not included in your command, your tests will be split by test name. CircleCI supports test splitting for all languages and testing frameworks, including Jest, Mocha, PyTest, RSpec, Maven, Gradle, and many others. For more information on test splitting and to start speeding up your test runs with test splitting, visit CircleCI.com today.